So sure, let's go ahead and let's find the sample size if we're estimating a population proportion. Why do you have the margin of error up there? Because I'm trying to show you where it comes from. Some understanding. What do we do? This is the error. Boom. That's Z off over 2, our critical value. P hat is an estimate of the population proportion. Q hat is its complement. And N is the sample size. Now that we talked about the pieces, let's go get our formula. So I'm trying to solve for N because N's going to give me my sample size. Oh, oy. that's why I have my error divided by my z alpha over 2. I'm not just going to give you another pretty formula to remember. That's uh, square root of p hat, q hat, n. So then, if I'm solving for n, I have to square both sides. So that's how I get... It's just algebra. I'm my error squared, my z alpha over 2 squared, and then that's going to be equal to p hat, q hat, over n, because we found some freedom for our radicand. So now what? Why don't I just take the reciprocal of both sides? Or I could solve for n here. Bam, I will, you know? I'm not step, I'm stepping a skip. I'm going to multiply both sides by n, boom, and then z alpha over 2 squared, because I multiply both sides by z alpha over 2, and then there's a p hat and a q hat divided by the error squared. And what have you just done? You've just made the book's magic little formula. For Magic. Bling. For the population proportion. But my book has two different ones. Okay, good. Your book does have two different ones. It has one when p hat is known, and yeah, one when p hat isn't known. This is for known p hat. Okay, but what if you don't know p hat? I don't know. Then we're going to try to make the sample size the biggest it could possibly be. <coughs> if p hat's unknown, if I'm looking at that fraction down there, I see my z alpha over 2 is fixed. I see my error is fixed. The only thing that could possibly change there is my p and my q. How do I make that product the largest? What, two num what, what number for p hat is going to make that product the largest? Point 0.5! Yeah? Yeah! Why? Point 0.5 times its complement, point 0.5, that's going to be bigger than all the other numbers. Because those range from, like, 0 to 1. You know what I mean? Okay, what's, what's punto cinco times punto cinco? 0.25. Yeah, you don't need to reach for your calculators for that. Catch you reaching. And that's why your book has the magic formula Z alpha over 2 squared times 0.25 divided by E squared. So those weren't magic at all. Those weren't magic at all. Let's get an example of actually calculating that. Ooh. Oops. Let's get an example of actually using that. Copy. Next. Paste. So I've taken this magic formula. Boom. And now I need a z value, z alpha over 2. I need an alpha. I need a confidence level. What do you want? Too slow, Joe. Four, no. Sure. So alpha is 10%, which means we're looking for 90% confidence. And let's get a bound on our error. We don't want to be between how much? 
Remember, we're dealing with population proportions, so it should be a percentage. One percent? One percent, sure. So we want to be plus or minus, whoa, is that one percent? No, that's ten percent. Yeah, so 0.01. So if we want our error to be, ooh. Yeah, let's just go with that error. What are you going to do? So then n is, what's a z alpha over 2 for a 10%? 1.6 5. We're going to take that dang thing. We're going to square it. Do we have an estimate for p? We don't, because I didn't tell you what the p was. So the biggest it could be is 0.25. And then we're going to divide that by 0.1 squared. Oh. Wilmer. Yes, I squared. 67.65. 67.65. So we're going to choose. Is there two choose and two O's and choose? Yep. <laughs> oh, good. So we choose 68. When you're rounding, it doesn't matter what your decimal is, always round up. Okay. Box and flower. Why? Because if you choose anything less than 68, you can't choose part of a person, that's what I'm saying. And if you choose less than 68, then you're not 90% confident anymore. So that's why you're always rounding up.